Hello and welcome back. Today in this episode, we are going to implement the login functionality and get the access token with the user info. If we go to the Swagger UI of our API, here you can see we have an endpoint for login. We send in the body a login request model we have created in the previous session. And here we receive a user manager response. We have also already created it, but we have manipulated that to add a user info, which is a dictionary of string, um, string key and string value. So it's a dictionary of values that contains like this, the first name of the user, last name, email, and the ID. Okay. In the response, we receive the message. Uh, either it contains the access token, if the credentials are correct, or we have a message like invalid username or invalid password. So now we can move to the Visual Studio. This is the component, the login component we have created. The first thing we should do is to go to models. Here we have the login request ready and the user manager response, user info, the dictionary. Now in the shared project, we go to services. Uh, this is the authentication service that we have put inside the dependency injection, the dependency container. And we have injected it in the register component, also in the login component. Now we will create a function similar to this, but to call the login uh, endpoint. So I can copy this, the same, paste it here. And instead of register, I will call it login user async this way it will receive a login request object and yeah like this going to call this one we will to receive a user manager response then we will return that to the user okay let's save that authentication service is already uh, registered in the container here is it so we can immediately go to the login component and just implement uh, this function. So this is the login user, it's already exists. Now I can uncomment this code. Okay, this way I will call login user async instead of register user async. Okay, here when we, well, when the request is, or the response is success, the message is the access token. So in the message of the UI, I won't show the access token. I will show like welcome to planner app. Okay, this is just for now because when the user logged in successfully, it's going, we will uh, store the access token locally in the browser and then redirect the user to the home page. But for this session, I will just show this message on the UI. In addition to that, I'm going to see what's inside the user info dictionary. So I will create a variable here of type dictionary string string call it user info sorry for that ah, new dictionary like this and user info is equals to result dot user info which is the dictionary inside the user manager response uh, object we have received from our request okay now I will here just for now I will create an unordered list iterate over the dictionary items and create a list item for each one I will print the key and I will print the value of each um, key value let's say okay that's it, it's pretty easy. Now we can run the application to check the result. Okay, now I will move to the O slash login at enter. I will try to log in with this user I've already created. Test dot one, two, three at login. Okay, here we go. This is the message and this is the content of the user info dictionary. As you can see, we have email, test at plannerapp.com, then 
this is uh, we call this claims if you want to know more about claims you can watch the building secure web api to the sp.net core and identity course available on aka academy youtube channel this claims like it's about the here the user info so there is a claim called email and the value of it is this email address and there is another one this is for name identifier or the id this is the id of the user and another one called first name last name and these are the values okay now but here there is something i should do when you try to log in actually there is no error message so when it fails directly here in the uh, in the message you can the, there is an invalid username or invalid password directly there is no errors because as you can see when you try to log in either you can have a right credential so you get into the system or you don't have the right credential so simply you cannot log in so you can print the message in case of invalid credentials you don't need to deal with errors so let me try to run that again Okay, login. I will try to enter an invalid credentials like hello.com. Login. Okay, there is no user with that email address. So I will put a valid email address but with the wrong password. I will get the message invalid password. Yeah, it's a nice system. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Now, in the next video, actually, the, the, the real action is going to start because we will implement uh, then authentication in uh, Blazor by creating a class or inherits, create a custom authentication state provider and deal with the authorized view, like show the, you, the component that the registered user can see and if the user is not logged in and try to, for example, redirect for the plans page or the to-do items page or dashboard, immediately redirect that user to the login page, implements logout and yeah, something like this. So the next video is going to be very, very important. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned with every new video I publish. Thank you so much for watching.